hello again. Uh, today I'm going to be talking a bit about the jab, more importantly how you can actually get power from it. So typically the jab is not really much of a power strike in most, particularly like uh, sport combat. It's typically used more as a sort of indexing tool. Uh, what I mean by that is basically when you're when your hands up here, your brain kind of knows where the target is already. So even if I can't see, I still know where to put my power hand. That's what indexing is, and it's also kind of used as an easy point scorer. Trying to like break through, get some easy hits to like the head or something, to jolt your opponent, create openings for other more devastating strikes. But in uh, like more practical combat, like self-defense sort of stuff, the jab can still be used. Like it, it, it's fine to use a power jab, like to try and get power out of it, because you can still kind of get a jolt and do some decent damage if you kind of understand how to actually get power with the jab. It's typically not thought how you can do it, but it's not too bad really. It's the same sort of principle mechanics as all like just putting your body into the strike. It's just a bit harder because you, there's, there's less movement in your body to do. But you've, not, you've not got this big sort of twist from the back, it's kind of a twist from the front. And your fist has to try and travel nice and straight. So, your typical jabs, they're never that... They're sort of, a lot of people sort of jab, they just extend the hand like this. Just, you know, it's a fast movement because the jab is naturally fast because it's on the front. It's not going as far to travel. And it's, you know, it's just throwing it out there. But this sort of way of throwing a jab is kind of weak. It's bend in, in the, if, there's ever, if there's ever a bend in any of your joints, it's typically, I mean, obviously a hook is different because the force kind of comes through your forearm. And the, but like a sort of small bend like this is structurally weak compared to the straight. So, you really, for a power, more powerful jab, you want to kind of keep your elbow more tucked in so it fires straight out, much more straight. You see, I'm, I'm turning my body, the power comes from this turn in my body, that full extension, it kind of gives you more re reach as well. And you can do that hip snap to extend, so elbow kind of more tucked in at the snap of your hips like that, rather than sort of like this, you have more of a full body movement with the jab, and it's also less telegraphed if it's kind of more along this straight line, because as I said before with um, the telegraphic movement, it's kind of more, your peripheral vision picks up things quite fast, and your focus vision can't see it as well, so if you can keep it in focus vision, it's much faster, and if you punch like this, you kind of a little bit more out of the middle <laughs> compared to it's just tiny little things but you know ways getting power out of a jab it's mostly about tucking your elbow in a bit more and like twisting your body so that you get that extra push and power through there so when you it's like that that's your power really and your arms straight it's like that so that's a little bit about the jab, how you can like uh, get a bit more power from it. It is useful to, if you can have a really powerful jab, it can really throw people off as well because they're not really expecting to get hit by a jab and to, to really like jolt them or to like cause any damage. Um, typical areas you hit with a jab really like the face, possibly. You didn't have to hit the body as much, maybe solar plexus, but it's quite a small target area really. But if you can land a really good powerful jab, it can really easy help easily set up with follow-up strikes to help finish someone up. So that's a little bit about a jab, you don't have to get more power from it. I'll see you in the next video.